We're looking at Excel 4.5 chapter practice. Now this one's going to look a little bit different. You have separate tasks and they're on different pages. You're making new pages and we're playing with charts. So the first step is to rename this as PR4 historical data. And then we're on the minimum wage tab and we want to select the range B4 to C60. So B4 to C60. Then we're going to come to the insert tab and we're going to say recommended charts. And here is all the charts right, that we're going to look at. Now it shows you what kind of chart to go for, but it also says to do a line chart. So I'm looking for the word line. Here it is. And I'm going to press OK. And that is my dog playing with a squeaky toy in the background. Yes. All right. So now I'm going to move this upper left corner to E4. So I'm going to keep going up till the upper left corner is in E4. There we go. And the lower right corner, we want it to be an M. So the M20. So I'm resizing the graph a little bit. Now I'm going to click on chart title. And let's see, it says click the front of the first letter. And we're going to type this as U.S. National Minimum Wage. And we should have, let's see, it says the Design tab and find the chart styles. Okay, so here are the chart styles. I'm going to open that up. And we want style 4. So if I hover over them, it'll tell you which style. So I want style 4. This is going to change the look of it. And then we have the years, so this is the X. They're a little bit hard to read, so we want to kind of reorient those. So it says on the Home tab, we're going to change the direction a little bit, and we're going to angle these counterclockwise. So now they're a little bit easier to read instead of being sideways. And we're going to prepare this sheet. So page layout, scale to fit, and we want it on one page. There you go. So that's the first chart. That was task one. Now let's look at task two. So task two, we're looking at Oregon and the projected life expectancy. So I'm going to come to the life expectancy chart. And you'll see there are two columns, one for males, one for females. This is from 1970 to 2010. And it says on the sheet, select A5 to B11. And we're going to press F11 on our keyboard. So you might have to press the FN part on your keyboard if you have a different type of computer. So clicking the F11 key on my keyboard or holding down FN if needed, um, we get a chart on a separate page. So it has its own sheet. We're going to rename that. So I'm going to double click and name that to men. Now here's our chart. It looks okay. Um, if I scroll down, let's see the birth year it says one, two, three, four, five. That's not right. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Um, so yours might be a different size. Mine's like at nine point. That's hard to read. So I'm just increasing these so you can see them a little bit better. Birth year. Okay, but we want to change the data. So I'm going to come up here to chart design, say select data. And we want to edit this. So for the legend, right, we're going to remove that check mark. And then for the horizontal axis, we're going to click edit. And we're going to come back to the uh, life expectancy chart, and we're going to select the years. And so now it changes them to the years. We're going to press OK. And we're going to change the chart title. All right, it says mail, but we're going to change this to life expectancy for Oregon men.
and then it says remove the bottom legend so that's where it says men well we already know these are the males so we don't need that anymore and then it says to do the same thing but this time for women All right, you can change the colors if you want to um, it doesn't tell us to but now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna select a5 through a11 and then it's C5 through C11. I'm using the control button in between, and then I'm going to repeat the steps. So I'm going to insert a new tab. Remember, we need to do all those steps again, so I'm going to change. Actually, first thing I'm going to do, just so you can see it a little bit better, is make these bigger. And then remember, we need to change the data. So chart design, select data, getting rid of that, editing this, and we're going to the years again. And we don't need that label anymore. We can rename this. This time we're saying life expectancy for Oregon women. And there we have it. So let's change this one to women tab. Okay. And let's return back to the life expectancy chart. We're selecting A5 D11, so all of them. We're going to insert a recommended chart. We're going to do, yep, the line chart. And this green line is kind of weird. It's not helpful. Um, we're going to right click on that and we're going to format the data series. So that's over here. And we're going to change it to the secondary axis. And then we're going to close that. So I'm moving it over so we can see a little bit. It says close that pane, which I did add a text box that explains. So I'm going to go to insert text box and I'm going to type in the lower left corner and we're going to say difference equals female life expectancy minus male. So it's inside of that chart and it's going to move with the chart, right? So you can see it moving with the chart or I can move it over. So you get, have a little bit of wiggle room to play with where it goes. It's supposed to be in the left bottom though. And we can move or resize it so that we can see information. Use the chart styles and we're doing the dramatic one if we want. So some pick something more dramatic. And then we are changing the print preview, making sure everything looks good, and compare it with the answer key.